Istanbul vlog, my nose job vlog. Right now you can actually see my nose without contouring. This is exactly why I'm getting it done. It's too wide. This is my outfit. I hope, I hope like it's gonna be good. I'm so nervous. This pain. How much pain? A lot. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, so... <coughs> Oh my god, I shouldn't move my face too much. So I just wanted to update you on my day today. So finally the nurse came and gave me all the medicine, all the drops. <coughs> and we changed this thing. So I feel a bit better and more clean, you know. Because before with all this blood and snot, like I really couldn't talk and felt like really sick you know so i really look at it as if i'm sick you know it's not like i did, i put this on myself it's like imagine you're sick so you cannot breathe so like if you look at it this way it's more positive because you're like you've been sick before and you will be able to breathe again maybe that's weird but if you think that this is like surgery it's kind of like more of a big deal in your head you know Anyways, I don't know if I'm even making sense. <sighs> yeah, so yesterday, honestly, the worst part was when I was waking up after the anesthesia. Uh, the nurse was, like, telling me to breathe through my mouth. And I don't know why it made me feel so scared. I had, like, some sort of a panic attack. And I was actually, like, she was like, are you okay? And I'm like, I'm scared, I'm scared. And then when they finally brought me to my room, I was so happy my husband was there. Like, it was such a traumatic ex experience, even though I expected it, of course, and I knew what I'm doing, like, it was really so difficult. Like, that was the hardest part for me, waking up after anesthesia, and then when I finally felt better, like, when they gave me, uh, you know, painkillers, they put it in my veins, I felt better, and... Like, since then, I'm kind of the same, but I think today I'm feeling worse than I did yesterday. Because, like, I'm more swollen, you know, my head hurts, and... And, like, I don't know, I'm already tired from this. I think mostly it's just very uncomfortable, but at times, like, my head hurts, and my nose, of course, as well, so... Uh, I don't know like my doctor was telling me you can go explore Istanbul and I cannot go anywhere like I feel so sick you know my head hurts and I cannot breathe and I really hope that it's gonna get better and I look forward to taking off my cast and those tubes in my nose and uh, yeah I'm just gonna be staying in my room and I'm now waiting for my husband to bring me some fruits because I really want, like, all I want is just fruits and water, you know, and yogurt, to be honest. So, I'm looking forward to that. And that's it for now, you guys. I don't have anything else to update you on. I'm wearing my new pajama that I bought specifically for this and my new pillow to keep my head up. I really miss laying on the side and being comfortable, but I did it to myself and I chose this, so... Although yesterday my doctor showed me my nose after, before and after, and honestly that made my day so much better, like I was dying, and then he came and showed me my photos and I was like, oh my god, this is why I'm doing this. It hurts, it's uncomfortable, but... The result is why I'm here, you know, so that really made me feel so happy. And I know right now I don't look happy, but it's because I cannot move my face at all because it hurts and I shouldn't. Okay, guys, we'll see you probably tomorrow. Healthy. Oh, can you not make noise while I'm trying to vlog? <laughs> my healthy lunch for day two after the surgery. And we're watching Only Murders in the Building, because that's the best series right now that keeps me going. Hey guys, so today is day two after my surgery, and uh, I didn't vlog the whole day because honestly there is nothing new. I think this morning I w woke up really um, swollen. I'm gonna insert the photo so you can see. I felt awful, 
but now that it's uh, I think around 3 p.m. I feel okay um, I'm kind of getting used to this new normal of not being able to breathe and having my nose full of mucus I'm cleaning my nose three times a day drinking my pills nurse is coming to check on me yesterday I had a post-op doctor that clinic hub provides come check on me as well so I feel I feel good that there's someone checking in on me and seeing if I'm doing well and I think I'm doing okay I heard that day three which is tomorrow usually the worst so I hope not because I'm just really tired of feeling bad but um, yeah this morning I woke up not feeling the best way possible but now I actually feel okay like as much as I can feel okay with all this on my face um, I had to sleep in a sitting position with this neck pillow and my back really hurts from that so I really don't like sleeping because of that and I was waking up every hour because my throat was so dry from breathing through my mouth so that's why I now I feel like I want to sneeze Ooh. and now my eyes will get watery so yeah that's why I don't like sleeping because my throat hurts my back hurts so I'm just laying in bed watching Disney Plus I'm so happy I got Disney Plus right before coming to Istanbul because there's a lot of fun stuff there and I feel like that makes my stay much more fun also I am posting on Instagram just photos from Istanbul because no one knows uh, but my close circle of friends no one knows that I am here getting my nose done so I'm just like posting travel photos when in reality this is how I look like I'll update you guys tomorrow and I'll let you know how I feel how I look and I really hope I'll be getting better and better day by day hello YouTube so it's me and today I decided to show you my nose care routine I'm gonna put you guys here I don't know if you can see me I don't think you can see me oh my god I don't know where to put you guys okay guys so I wanted to film it myself but I was trying to put you guys and it was too low so I asked my husband to take a video of me cleaning my nose really my husband deserves a medal for going through this with me and then also filming me do this for my little youtube channel uh okay i just thought you know it's a bit boring to always show you my <laughs> face like a chipmunk and then be like i'm feeling bad well actually today i'm feeling better you can see i'm like being myself again kinda um so let me just show you my nose cleaning routine that the nurses at clinic hub that are every day checking in on me which is like honestly amazing they're checking my nose if i'm doing well my temperature everything and uh yeah so they showed me how to do this so first um i need to wash my nose with the uh, saline water and spray my nose and kind of let all this go down okay so then i clean everything with the tissue all that's coming out and then i'm ready for the next step which is I don't know actually what is this thing, but it's um, it's called Iliadine, but this is like Turkish medicine, but it's basically to something with my mucus. So I need to spray it in and blow it in. This oil, which is called Nazolnam, so it's also, you spray it inside and it drips down so you try to do your best when that happens so I'm taking q-tip and um, this gel that's like antibiotic that you put on your stitches and with my nose I only have stitches in the middle and in this nostril because uh, my doctor was kind of uh, straightening is that correct to say? like my nostril, do you straighten the nostril? I don't know, but basically this one he made more similar to this one so I have stitches here 
and in the middle. Going to show you my things, by the way. Okay, one thing no one told me about getting a nose job is that your nose is constantly like dripping and there's just so much happening here like that you just want to blow your nose and you can't and that's like the most annoying thing to be honest like I'm actually not in pain it's just like this annoying feeling of wanting to blow your nose and never being able to you know so I'm looking forward to remove the tubes inside so I can well, I probably cannot blow my nose, but at least like it can go down. Okay, so now last thing is I'm taking so gauze. I'm taking oh my god, this thing that went, and then I'm taking just strip and trying to apply it. Okay, so. This is my nose. This is how it looks. Wait, can you see me? Look. I think it looks good, like it's healing. So now I'm gonna cover it. Okay. That's like my routine three times a day. I love doing this because it's the only way I can actually like, you know, let all this bad stuff leave my nose. So I'm always looking forward to doing this <laughs> three times a day. So today is day three. Um, maybe like you can focus on me. So today is day three and I was actually scared of day three because I heard this is like the worst day but it was okay. Like I think it like the worst was the day of the surgery then first day was hard second day uh, less hard and then today actually like i'm just really annoyed you know with this whole thing like i'm not in pain or anything i'm just like please take it off like i cannot wait to just itch my nose feel my nose you know so i'm trying not to think about it tomorrow is day number four and hopefully day number five they'll finally take me to my doctor for him to take off my cast and tubes inside of my nose um so i just thought it would be fun to show you guys a bit of a different day after my surgery and tomorrow i'll update you how i'll be feeling um so yeah now i'm gonna go with peaky blinders with my husband hey guys so it's day number four as you can hear from my voice i sound much more like myself and i'm feeling much better thank god so Despite the fact that I heard many times that day number three is the worst, actually, I felt okay yesterday, but today I feel even better. And I already received a message saying that I'm going to remove my cast tomorrow at 3.30 p.m. So I'm looking forward to that. I honestly, like, the most discomfort that I feel is, um, like... In this area just with the cast itching you know and uh, my nose leaking stuff and just me wanting to clean my nose you know and just finally be able to breathe um, so I'm really glad that it's coming to an end and I'm finally able to you know see my nose even though I already saw it like from the operation table um, but Tomorrow I'll actually be able to see it in person and I'm so excited about that. I had doctor check me today and a nurse. So I'm doing good. They're saying I'm healing well. I'm not actually, um, I'm not feeling pain, uh, which is great. I just feel discomfort and you can see I have like swelling here. But I don't have any, like a bit of like yellow, you know, uh, color here like bruises but it's not like that bad because i saw like many people have like purple bruises on their face and i just have like this small yellow spot that i personally see so i think um that's interesting but definitely like it's swollen here so i look like a chipmunk and uh, i feel like i look younger with this area being like so round <laughs> you know so 
yeah i just wanted to update you now we'll see each other tomorrow i guess when i'm going to remove my cast and i hope they'll let me film it because i want you guys to see it so we decided to treat ourselves and order room service and look at this the portions this is my husband's hamburger and we decided to order french fries for each i was really craving french fries because i'm not allowed to eat uh salty foods but i decided to go for it because tomorrow i'm removing my cast and i ordered pizza for myself jesus this is everything and just in our hotel room we don't even need to leave uh and go out there amazing oh no way to take off my cast say goodbye to this face so we arrived to the office where dr shabil will remove my cast we're first ones and I'm super excited. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Just uh, nice. Okay. 
in school. I'm stressing you. She's very traumatized. That, that helps you. <laughs> I, I can't imagine where she got the board. So only those three, right? But for them, you're talking about it. Okay. Yeah. You will keep my seat one week after one week, you can take it. Ah, okay. And you can take it. Yeah, keep this one week, you can take the shower. Uh -huh. Just not to wash my face? No, you can wash yourself. My face? This was proof. Really? Yes. Oh! <laughs> Finally. I was just using wipes. Okay. Now we want to get a massage. Two fingers like this. Okay. And fresh like me. Mm-hmm. Going to fresh this side. Okay. Fresh and going to fresh. Now we want to put one finger like this. Now we want to put one finger like this. I'm going to squeeze your teeth right here. Like uh -huh. so, then you can't do this up in here and you are squeezing. Okay? Uh -huh. This is two steps. Every step should be 30 times minimum. Uh -huh. I want to do this two months. Two months. Minimum twice a day. Twice a day. Okay. Okay. Well, anyway, anyway, when you can do it, okay? Uh -huh. But do it minimum 30 times when you start to do it. Because when you do this, you will have uh, a really fine result. Okay. 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 To help you in the process, so I want to do this and this fresh. Okay. If you want to keep this shape, you need to do a bit hard, uh -huh. uh, you need to do a little bit uh, patient. Uh -huh. But they will, they will lose the sensibility uh -huh. and they will not help you as much as Okay. Now the other one, can you say, most retainer, you know what? Most retainer. You will have one of those homework. Your practice was very good and your kids can be on the spot. Hey guys, so this is me with my retainer and so my husband didn't film this part but I was given this retainer to keep it inside of my nose for the whole month, all the time. Uh, so I will be working from home for the whole month because I'm not gonna leave my house looking like this and um, I need to keep it in and then after one month I can only wear it at home also as much as possible so um, yeah I'm going back to Prague looking like this my nose is so swollen so it looks so big right now uh, but I'm looking forward to see it when it goes smaller and smaller thank god my husband filmed the part where the doctor was explaining how to massage my nose and how to put these tapes because my memory is the worst so i will be looking back at that clip for sure to remember what i'm supposed to do because i already forgot everything how how is this possible i don't know but yeah so i'm gonna keep this on top uh, for one week he said I can wash my face take a shower in it amazing and um, then after one week I only put three of these so not the full you know this all of this that you see right now but only three like here on the end and two on my bridge when I go to sleep and I think I'm supposed to do it for two months if I remember correctly and this for one month all the time and for one month more only when I'm at home also I was told not to go out as much I think if I understood correctly but I think either way for one month after the surgery I will be staying home as much as possible because I I need to heal you know so I'm gonna rest and tomorrow we're flying back to Prague I might still film something today or not uh, but tomorrow for sure so I just wanted to let you know that I never saw anyone having to wear retainer by the way this is something new and unusual he did say that because of my nose and the skin I need to do this so uh, that it heals properly so I'm just gonna follow my doctor's advice obviously not advice but you know this is what I have to do I just want to heal well fast and have a beautiful nose already in one month or two months so i'm just gonna stick to these recommendations but also it was so 
crazy now to look at my nose on video it's like who is she i look so different but i'm so excited i'm so excited for my nose to you know the swelling to go down so i can actually see it so excited oh and also i am so happy with my doctor dr shamil you saw him in the video clip before is it blood oh my god he is a true professional and he was so kind and nice and you know he has a good sense of humor he said that i'm dramatic and i am but it was so painful uh but he did an amazing job and i just wanted to say thanks to him i don't know if he'll be watching this ever but he's a really great doctor and i'm so happy i chose him i'll make a video where i'll be talking more about the whole process uh so also if you'll have any questions leave them in the comments i'll include it in my one month post-op video now i'm gonna go rest okay hey guys so today is our final day in istanbul it's funny how this is exactly the spot where i was sitting when you know i made like intro i don't know in the beginning of this vlog where i was saying that i'm getting a nose job and i don't like my nose and here i am with my new nose and i took out uh, my retainer because I, I went downstairs to eat and it always falls out when i'm eating so as you can see i still cannot like quite move my face that much so i look like an emotional robot so don't mind that i feel great i feel awesome i can finally breathe i decided to also film this part without my retainer so you guys can kind of see my nose better of course it's still swollen but it's already so much smaller than before and i'm so excited to see it when it heals properly i cannot believe i finally did it i wanted to do it since i was 18 i'm 27 now and honestly i always was conscious about my nose but from the moment when i turned 18 i really like i knew i'm gonna do it eventually and i'm gonna make a video where i'll explain more like details how i was looking for a doctor how i decided all of that so um, make sure to leave your questions in this under this video in the comment section because I'll answer in that video if you have any questions uh, but I'm just so happy that I went through with it no matter how hard it was and it was definitely the most painful experience I've ever had it was definitely the most intense thing um, but I do not regret it at all and I'm so excited to see my nose get better and better and like become the nose of my dreams um, I don't know I'm just really really so happy and the most important thing I paid for this with my own money I didn't take money from my father or my husband I gave this dream to myself and it makes me feel so powerful that I was able to give myself my biggest dream on my own you know but of course without my husband being here and taking care of me I would not be able to go through with it because it was really difficult and coming on your own I think it's so much harder and I'm so grateful that my husband was taking care of me and was there for me um, and was so patient with me so I'm really happy for that and just overall wanted to sit down and make like final conclusion to this whole experience um, as I said I will make a video where I'll talk more about details and stuff like that but just right now we're about to start packing uh, we're flying back to Prague at 1.50 now it's like 9 so we need just to pack our stuff <laughs> by the way don't mind this you know this is a hotel experience so i'm sure your room also looks awful when you are on vacation i'm glad that my husband also he told me he's so grateful we came here because he finally got a chance to relax and not work and just stay in the hotel and this whole experience was really crazy but amazing i don't know i just like i really enjoyed everything and i'm kind of sad to leave istanbul I'm sad that I didn't go out as much as I maybe thought I would but I really didn't feel like going anywhere only now today I feel more like myself but all these previous days 
I cannot imagine being out there, especially in this heat, like this week, the whole planet is on fire, everyone is talking about it, and I'm so grateful that I was staying in a five-star hotel with AC, and like, I kind of didn't feel that what the rest of the world was going through, you know, like, I'm glad and happy that I was blessed to have this privilege to just be on my own, which I was still going through a lot this week, you know, so I don't know. Yeah, if you want to know more about my doctor, if you want to know more about Clinic Hub, also leave your questions. Uh, I have only good things to say, to be honest, so no tea, no shade, because I am so grateful I had such a great experience, honestly, because I was really scared when I was coming here, because I didn't know, like, I knew from YouTube other girls' videos that, like, it's, it's great, but you never know until you try it. So for one month, after this, I'm gonna lock myself in my house and never leave because <laughs> I don't want people to see me with a retainer in because I need to keep it in all the time. Uh, I'm about to put it back in, don't worry. That's it. We did it, you guys. Thank you so much for following me on this journey and um, I'm really happy that I did it, really. Like, I gave myself the dream that I always wanted and I cannot wait to feel better about myself, you know? So time to go home.